Hello everybody, and in this video I'm going to show how I'm going to be shipping posters. Uh, it's relatively simple, but poster tubes can be relatively expensive. Uh, uh, the large white poster tubes I used in this video were on average about uh, $7 each, where I was able to find them. As you can see there, there's a couple of lots already boxed up, and this one I'm just going to do. So I took a uh, recycled tube, uh, which is still structurally sound. And I am going to roll the, this particular lot of uh, 10 posters onto this tube. Uh, all three lots of posters I'm auctioning off on eBay are all being rolled pretty much exactly the same way. They're all being rolled on top of a uh, tube. And then they're going to be rolled into bubble wrap as you'll see in this video. Uh, then they're going to be put into a larger white tube and then uh, sent off at the buyer's expense. Uh, I do use a wide variety of couriers including but not limited to Canada Post, United States Postal Service, UPS, uh, Ascendia Post for stuff going like say overseas like Europe or Australia. Uh, but all the posters are rolled onto a uh, generic tube. I put a an elastic band on each end just to help hold the tube in and then I'm going to roll them up into a uh, sheet of uh, bubble wrap just to help ensure that the posters don't go swishy swashy uh, inside the tube when they're being mailed. It also adds a little bit more structural support for the entire tube. So as you see, I'm folding the uh, bubble wrap edges so that uh, the posters are gonna be well wrapped. Uh, once I uh, roll this poster here where I'm going to do or once I roll this into the bubble wrap I'm going to take some more elastic bands put them on the side or the ends as well uh, I don't want to use tape when I'm wrapping posters inside of a tube uh, sole reason being is I don't want that tape for whatever reason to somehow come off and get onto the uh, the poster uh, these are all used posters so the condition of each poster will vary from poster to poster as noted in the description they could have rips tears, chips, dents, scratches, or have frayed corners and edges. Uh, I just say that generically for all these lots just because the condition is different for each poster. Some posters are in significantly better condition than others, but please see the uh, photos uh, in the description of each lot for a better idea of what the condition of each poster is. Since these are already packed and ready to ship, uh, additional pictures are technically still available if you are interested in some. It'll just take a little longer to get to them. Anyway, I'm going to take this tube and I'm going to uh, gently put it into this tube and then uh, show them off. All right, so let's go to the next uh, video here. Once I get the posters mostly down there, I'll just uh, tap them onto the floor here to get them uh, down into the tube a little bit better and then uh, gently uh, push them further in and then I wanted to take bubble wrap and I want to put uh, bubble wrap uh, into each end of the tube just to help give additional uh, uh, support for these uh, posters from you know swishing around on the inside. Uh, all the tubes are well packed as you see here. They got fragile stickers. Uh, they got my little thank you support. Thanks for your support sticker. Uh, and I just tape the uh, ends up to help do that. Anyway, I'm going to go to another video where I show uh, some more stuff of how I pack these. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I created the first uh, poster lot. You know, I wrote, wrote Canadian Brick Cafe poster lot one, so the roll of posters is in there. I use an elastic band to hold them down, then I put them into a layer of bubble wrap, and there's these elastic bands that hold the bubble wrap onto these posters. I'm going to put them into this brand new tube uh, I don't want to re use a recycled tube just for stability and quality of shipping reasons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some bubble wrap. I'm going to put bubble wrap on either end to give it a little extra cushion. And I'm going to put this into here and uh, label it and get ready to uh, list on eBay.